The Libone Centre Literacy Program facilitates the implementation of classroom libraries in Makanda. The coordinator explains the process of implementation of the project through workshops and the way that its impact is measured. I think the most immediate one is that, you know, we do a pre-visit and we look at the classroom and most of the time there isn't anything like a classroom library or a reading corner or anything that, you know, it's kind of, it's almost non-existent. Um, and then we, we do the workshops, we equip the teachers with bookshelves, a carpet, cushions, books, etc. to create that reading corner and then we go back again a month or two after we've done all that and take photographs and have a look at are they using it? How are they using it? Are the children taking books home? So we kind of measure all those things and then contrast it with obviously what what was the situation before. So that's la, 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 la. <coughs> Although the literacy program works to develop the children's ability to read for meaning, it is not easy to measure the project's effect. It's very difficult to know exactly what the impact will be necessarily on our children's reading patterns because it's one kind of building block in, in a whole journey of this. Um, so to say, well, we did this so that it had that effect immediately is quite difficult. Um, but we also, you know, we could do more, I guess, also in terms of interviewing the children and saying, how much were you reading before? How much are you reading now? According to the facilitator of the classroom libraries, who also runs the workshops, says the libraries must fit the culture and the context of the learners. But the reason that the classroom library needs to be contextually and culturally appropriate is that it can speak to the specific learners in the classroom. It needs to be a safe space for them, something that they can identify with, they can identify with the books, they can put their selves in the characters' shoes, they can become the characters themselves, and so it's not something that is far off, that they cannot relate to at all. So it's all about making the stories accessible, understandable, relatable, and instilling that reading identity so the child becomes e equipped to become the story themselves. In order for children to become the stories themselves, they must have access to the storybooks. The teachers who attended the workshops states why it is important for children to read. Is that they will be uh, able to develop themselves, to speak fluent, fluently, also to develop a love for reading because I have observed from for the past few years I've been teaching that uh, there are a lot of children who love to read and some of them are fortunate enough to have reading books at home and some do not have reading books. So for, for them to have a classroom library it will help them to develop more love and also for reading to develop more life for reading and also to encourage other children to read. I, I Africans or oh Africans, they really struggle in Africans. I will rate them four. Now who can tell me what color are stars? Yellow. Yellow, gold next. Fold the color. Fold in, take out your yellow colors and color in all the stars, just the stars yellow. And is it cross? Uh, um, some of them, they can speak is it cross but in, in the writing, they they are they they they, they um, experiencing challenges. So I can also rate them five four. Why up until this time is there not a library? That I can't answer. It all depends on the department of education. There is a language barrier. Because of Kabani Basuka, the background is a shaken name. Sham Masam Zagalum Bushan and Maku. A tetra English Kai. English is a Kabili school way. A pinary from the school in Okwan. So the Fikai is closer to me. So it must be a problem. And Abanya and Don Bibi Kali can't buy even got great. So Makalu is a Tuvan and a school. So it must be a Kunzim again.
Teachers often struggle to make spaces for extended reading in their classrooms. My learners really struggle to read, most of them. Some of them also don't or haven't yet experienced a book. Like sometimes just touching it, you know, if I give them a story book, just touching it for them is, is something new to them. That would be one good thing about the library, when they have to experience books for the first time. Some of them, because of their learning disabilities, they aren't able to read. But the one thing about them is when they have books and they look at pictures, and I uh, sometimes tell them what's in the picture is going to be in the sentence. So now what I try to do is we discuss the pictures first. So even though they don't know the words at the bottom of the page, they are able to, to have a conversation and to tell me what's going on in the, in the book. So one fold we can divide into two halves. Then fold our page again. Having been fortunate enough to have organizations like the Libona Center and other organizations um, helps us to, to, to uplift the love, the spirit, the enthusiasm of those children who love to read, those children who, like, who will love to, 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 to write their own stories because we believe strongly as teachers we are molding those children and they are the children and their different careers. I can reach very high. Oh, look. I am a star, can't lose. 